speaking of superhumans, uh, allegedly a human decided that he was super and elected himself team captain for the Green Bay Packers this past weekend. So Jair Alexander, that came out, was not one of the announced captains for the Green Bay Packers this past weekend. But whenever the coin toss took place, there was four players out there, even though three had been announced. Jair Alexander was added. He added himself is what we found out. <laughs> now today, it, and he called it and spoke. Uh -huh. So now today <laughs> it has come out. He's been suspended for Sunday Night Football's game against the Minnesota Vikings. Well, a game in which they have to win. And if they win out, the ESPN analytics are giving them a what percent chance? 96, of I believe. The 90, a 96% chance of making the playoffs. The Green Bay Packers still in contention, very much so in this first year with Jordan Love. And Jair Alexander has been suspended for a massive game against the Minnesota Vikings because, Brian Gutekunst said, what happened before the game. Now, for those that didn't, the decision to suspend a player is never easy and not one we take lightly. Unfortunately, Jair's actions prior to the game in Carolina led us to take this step, said Gutekunst. As an organization, we have an expectation that everyone puts the team first. While we are disappointed, we had a good conversation with Jair this morning and fully expect him to learn from this as we move forward together. We look forward to welcoming him back next week week as a valued member of this team and will continue to be in the future okay so that's a big deal that's yeah. a big suspension obviously Jeez. we got a chance to hear what Jair Alexander said immediately after the game about not actually being captain and just kind of electing himself captain of the team and deciding to speak here's from Matt Schneidman's Twitter account about Jair on the incident immediately after the game supposed to be a captain because the team announces the three game captains and you were the fourth and you called the toss what happened there oh yeah i mean you know it's only suiting you know i don't think coach knew i was from charlotte you know so so you just did that on your own i mean i mean you know i mean it was like a you know the guys backed me up you know? this is real they knew i was from here <laughs> did you realize you almost made a big mistake on the call though what i do well you said we want to go on defense yeah which in theory could they could have said, then you're electing to kick to to uh, kick off, which you would have lost the opportunity then yeah. to receive in the second half. Yeah, no, I told them that uh, I said uh, I want I want our defense to be out there, and they all looked at me like I was crazy. I'm like, I mean, it's pretty simple what I said. Like I want the defense to be out there. They like you mean defer? I'm like, yeah, I guess. Okay. Did he, did he say that to you? Yeah, he did. The mic, the mic was on. Oh, well, yeah, he, he heard you. Hear oh, really? No, he was just like, defer. I was like, yeah. Everybody was like, yeah. Like, everybody was laughing. I'm like, what y'all laughing at? Like, it's pretty obvious what I'm asking for. So did anyone say anything to you when you got back to the no. sideline? <laughs> Why would they? That's not a movie. No. <laughs> AJ, was real life. Sunglasses on, you know? Sweet. Let me get out of here. There is some verbiage at a coin toss. You know, any of us that have mm -hmm. gone out there, it's like, can't say this, have to say this. Because if you say this, like he said, there is an opportunity for you not to have the ball either half. Because yep. if you defer your option into the second half, then you're getting the ball in the second mm -hmm. half pretty much. It's a technicality, but it is something that yeah. actually takes place out there. Figure out who's talking. Hey, Pat, you got it? You talking? I'm, I'm talking, so you figure that out. Boom. Coach says... Hey, this is what we're thinking. I, in Vinatieri, normally Vinatieri, but I happen to be sitting there, so I guess they just asked us in general. But, like, there's a lot of people taking into consideration, hey, which way do we want to go? If we don't have this, this is what we want to do. Hey, we're taking the ball if we get a chance. We're setting mm -hmm. the tone. There's a full conversation oh, that yeah. takes place amongst those captains and wow. the coach and everybody. <laughs> I, I, I only the ref saved him, though. The ref saved him. Yes. He could have screwed him. Like, if you don't say the first, like, you could be kicking both times. So I, could, I give the ref credit, I guess, for saving him. Yeah, shout out to the ref being a human, which which is what we were looking for, mm -hmm. Bill Vinovich, with the safety thing. Like, yep. be a human here. We all agree. So I appreciate that. Everybody knew what I was saying, you know, with the sunglasses on. Yeah. And now Goons Goons watched that video and was just like, are you this guy? Mm -hmm. He just elected himself. We didn't know he's from Charlotte. So he mm -hmm. said, yeah, we're playing here. I need to be the captain. I'm going out there. The guy's backed me. The guy's backed me. <laughs> yeah. the guy, he said, the guy's backed me. The guy's backed me. You know, they thought it was. This is an entertaining Human being, yeah. Jair Alexander. Love him. Has been throughout the entirety. What a move by him. And now, yeah. Sunday Night Football, you're out without one of your best players and a guy who can elect himself captain. And the boys are like, yeah, you can do that. What a vi he's, a, he's a big part of that locker room, I feel like. Mm -hmm. His personality, ah, we'll see him next week. Although we need to win both games. Ty Schmidt, you're an owner of that team. You got guys just electing themselves to be a, be a captain out of nowhere right before the game and then almost messing up. What the hell is going on in Green Bay, pal? I mean, just a nightmare, you know. It seems like 
wacky shit happens every week that kind of just leaves you wondering what the hell's going on. And then, yeah, you know, I mean, the the basically if the Packers win out and the Steelers beat the Seahawks, the Packers will be the sixth seed in the NFC playoff Damn. picture. Uh, and now you got to go uh, play the Vikings. Nick uh, Mullins trying for back-to-back 300-yard games. Yeah, four. Justin Jefferson is uh, four straight, four is, is back. Four, 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 sorry. And now we're going to have to start, you know, two seventh-round rookies at, at cornerback as a pl- as opposed to, you know, your all-pro guy who you paid a, a bunch of money to. So, yeah, this is just— Elected himself. Oh, man. Johnny, I've never heard there. this before. This is out of a movie. 